Hello fellow Blues and welcome to the very first edition of BFC TV where we look at the blue season ahead, show you some fun and games in terms of the crossbar challenge and also talk to the youngest footballer to represent this club. Stay tuned to find out more. Hmm, now it brings us to the crossbar challenge. Many have come and conquered in this challenge but can the boys from BFC do it? Let me try my luck while you can check them out after this. Oh yeah! Come on! Now check the boys out. Hi, I'm Sunil Chetri, captain of BFC, crossbar challenge. Just because I'm the captain and the senior most, I'm going first. Guys, it's Arno, Kenyan King, crossbar challenge champion 2013. Holland, part of the coaching staff of BFC, um, just so our skipper, fantastic player, but five out of five. Don't quite say I'm going to You can't go again, so I'm going to set the standard. Something Raj, midfielder, Bangalore FC. Jai Karnataka, Jai Bangalore FC. This one is for all the 15% body fat. is a BFC fan segment called You Are The Gaffer. These are where fans pick their teams and their dream teams as such for the Sunday's lineup against Shillong Lejong. Let's see who they picked and what was their starting eleven. Welcome everyone. We've been given the chance by the club to select our starting eleven. So let's get down to business. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. So uh, the formation. Does everybody agree on a four-four-two or yeah, does anybody have? It's um, I think Shillong. I think we have to be a little more attacking because we are at home ground. So, so yes. I think four-three-three attack formation. I agree with Simic. I agree with that too. Yeah, four-three-three. So everyone agrees four-three-three. Four-three-three. Yeah. 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 But four-three-three is an attacking so. formation. And when we are leading by two goals or something. Uh, we go to see, we go with the form. We'll come to that a bit later. I think later on season, I think I'll give Armander a chance. But now, seeing the season that Mohan Bagan taking a lead, mm -hmm. I think we have to keep pressure on. So, Ralte is the man. Okay. John, Johnson gets in. Yeah. John Johnson and Osman. And I think we have a right back. We start with right back. Almost all of his crosses are accurate, so it's really good. It's our one. It's our one. It's our one. I think it's Keegan because, as I say, for match experience, his form and most of his passes are almost accurate. And yeah, we can give Fana a chance. Maybe Fana can come if there is any problem. If there is any problem, I think we can have a substitution.
and we have and we have Kim who is taller than Chetri, who has who has a much better ability. Chetri has no weak food as we know. It's not like another yeah, yeah. It's not like none of them have another chance. So, <laughs> okay, so this was our and this is our eleven. Oh, we see this eleven on Sunday. Sunday. After much heated debate, the fans have gone for an ever-trusted 4-3-3 formation. Well, let's see if the gaffer agrees on that. Speaking of the gaffer, let's see what he had to say in the pre-match. Two wins on the trot. Obviously, uh, two away games was a, was a real tough start on paper. Um, going up to Isle FC. Following uh, the previous away game was always going to be tough. Logistically, it's 12-13 uh, hours to get there. Uh, lots of things to think about, food, recovery times, etc. So uh, on paper, six points was exactly what we was looking for. Um, you know, good performance in the first game. I thought we started very well. So far, so good. Um, Performance-wise, we could have played a little bit better against Isla. We didn't pass the ball very well. It's been a good start, certainly a better start than last season. They've upped their levels of, of competitiveness, if you like. Um, we have a few more players competing for different positions, so it enables the players that who have been playing or have played over the last two years not to be complacent. So everyone's got their role to play. Um, they've showed a good attitude. They've fitted into the systems quite well. A claim for a place, even Amrinda is going to push Moira all the way. So uh, it's looking healthy, um, but still early days. You know, we've only had five or six weeks together. Um, it's still very early, and there's still lots of football and lots of training to be done. Just um, to try and win as many games as we can, um, see where it takes us. Uh, last season we, we finished the last 13 league games undefeated, which is a, a good milestone for the club. Um, we were top scorers in the league, which is, is positive. We are unfortunate, in my opinion, not to win the league, so um, you know, we showed a, a good solid performance. We're just looking to back that up. Hopefully the objective is to, to win trophies and uh, let's just take every game as it comes and see where it takes us. We have great sets of fans, they really get behind the team and it's a good place to play football so you know, it's not took lightly the support we have and hopefully it will continue and it will come out in numbers on Sunday. So finally to wrap things up in this first BFC TV episode, we have something called the New Blue. This is a segment where we look at certain players who have just entered the club, such as Mizoram 18-year-old Malsom Zola. The tenacity and the grit shown in this central defensive midfielder is for everyone to see perhaps even a new song to be sung by the Bangalore faithful. So let's have a look of what he has to say in his new strides in a new club. My name is Masum Zola. I'm from Mizoram. My position is midfield and I play for BFC. I started my football career from 2009. I started from Sidon Academy from Mizoram. And after that I was in the Academy of SYS. And in 2012 I was in the Academy of Shilong Lajong under 15. And after that, I played for Chamber FC for one and a half years. I represented my state at the BC Road Trophy and I've been selected for the Under-19. And from there, I start playing for my country. And last year, we had a friendly match against BFC. And from there, I've been selected. When I heard that I'm the youngest player to play for the BFC, I was very excited, but I don't let the pressure get on me. I'm really proud to be a part of the BFC family and to share the same dressing room with Sunil Chachi, Eugene Sanlingdo. It was really nice to practice with them. When the girlfriend told me that I'll be on the first 11, I was very excited. And I called up my mom and my friends and they were also very excited. The, co the coaching staff really helped me. They believe in me. They don't care about the age. They just let me play freely. It was really amazing to play in front of my family and friends. We got three points and that was a really great start for us. When I'm not playing football, I will watch movie and all. Sleeping. <laughs> so, <laughs>
Thank you so much. Kanzo, Kanzo. Well, that wraps up the very first episode of BFC TV. Stay tuned to find out more. And also, if you have any opinions and suggestions, please feel free to write in the columns below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels and click on the links here. This is your host, Avnish Hegde, signing off. And remember, guys, back the blues. <laughs>